you feel it till we give you what you need Call everyone a press it till they're on their knees Impeach free speech, better dye your hair pink TV, phone screen, it's better if you don't think Debt to university, segregate diversity Give yourself a ribbon every time you face adversity Find another problem, tell yourself you're not alone Tell everyone who's straight that they're wrong your path in life but make a socio a psycho nonsense woke this you're gonna lose your mind though bigotry insanity an ally or an enemy there's too much masculinity so we go by the family represent the one percent who want to overthrow till everybody lives in an autonomous zone act tough steal stuff smash another window loot store get more grab another brick throw she her he American dream. That's why they call it an American dream, because you have to be asleep in order to believe it. Those are the famous words of, of course, George Carlin, more of a prophet than a comedian, especially looking at our current circumstances. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Lukanowski here. We are Change.org, and we got some absolutely crazy news to get into. As right now, leave Twitter is trending as it looks like Elon Musk has just acquired Twitter, a major social media platform, which of course there's going to be huge ramifications of. There's still also a lot of other news that we need to get into all around the world. Lots of craziness is unfolding. We're gonna be doing our best to try to break it down to you. But before we do, the music video that we played in the beginning of this broadcast is a small clip from a new song by Five Times August. They do incredible work. This latest video is a masterpiece. And of course, we will link it down in the description below so you could watch it in full. It's called the Anti-Fascist Blues. And uh, seriously, Five Times August does incredible work. And I'm very happy I found them online since, of course, artists need to be supported more than ever right now, especially in a day and age of digital online purging and book burning that we have been seeing that hopefully might stop with the latest news coming about Elon Musk purchasing Twitter as Bloomberg and the Independent are now reporting that Twitter is going to be accepting that offer and that the official deal could be stricken within just moments of making this video. This is going to be the main focus of this video, but before getting into that, the ideas that Elon Musk is standing up for is freedom, something that of course has not been in abundance here in the United States as of late, especially with the government intervening in a lot of people's lives and in San Antonio a pair of disgusting horrible Karens bureaucratic Beckys known to other people as police officers stopped a 10 and 8 year old entrepreneur from selling eggs from their backyards because they didn't have the right government permits and permission to do so. Yes, in San Antonio, Texas, a pair of children had a cease and desist order given to them by the local government to immediately stop their egg selling operation, which netted them $70 per week. And as local bureaucratic governments here in the United States crack down on, on 10 and 8 year old entrepreneurs, other places like in Africa are becoming a lot more freer as the Central African Republic has just passed a law that will accept Bitcoin as legal tender inside of their country, joining, of course, El Salvador, the Honduras Prospera, allowing their citizens to essentially have control of their bank accounts and their own banks inside of their own pockets. As, of course, former U.S. President Barack Obama has described Bitcoin as giving the people the power to have anonymous Swiss bank accounts inside of their own pockets and with more and more smaller countries that are still developing adopting bitcoin while more repressive governments try to suppress and stop it i think this is a significant development that is definitely worth covering and talking about as of course the world is changing becoming more digital and according to my opinion and as history shows 
the more that people are free, the better off that they are. This is why, again, I have created LukeUncensored.com, our own quasi-secret platform where we get to talk about these larger ideas, tips, tricks, hacks, you name it. We discuss it all on LukeUncensored.com. We're going to be doing yet another exclusive video later on today on this independent media broadcast, specifically about the latest allegations from Mike Tyson that believes that a lot of uber elitist rich people are doing some really bad things to homeless people what are they doing what's going on is there actually merit in these claims i believe so we're going to be talking about that plus a lot more later on today on lukeuncensored.com where of course we are building and growing our independent media operation where we just launched bill gates meet Dot com. Yes, that's an actual website, BillGatesMeet.com. If you haven't gone on there, click on it right now. We also launched a new shirt to go along with that. Over the weekend, we also launched RIPCNN.com, another website that I definitely think you guys should watch as we created a meme video that I originally thought of and had amazing people working at WeAreChange.org put together. All of this, BillGatesMeet.com, RIPCNN.com is possible because of your support. And of course, signing up to LukeUncensored.com where you get exclusive videos and tips that are only available to you. Again, if you haven't seen RIP CNN.com, what are you waiting for? Definitely uh, click the video <laughs> right now to see what we are doing and how we are expanding our independent media empire with new campaigns that you guys helped make happen. All of this through, of course, LukeUncensored.com. Click the link down in the description below to find out more. Now, I think what's happening in China right now is, is a perfect representation of the main topic that I want to get into. But, but in case you, you haven't been paying attention, China has been deliberately locking down tens of millions of people arbitrarily. Now, the latest development is that they're putting cages around buildings and entire neighborhoods to prevent people from being able to escape as, of course, this creates human disasters, the disruption of the economy, disruption of supply chains, and the starvation of tens of millions of people, all because of three deaths. Yes, according to the official data, whose pre-existing conditions we didn't know, their age we don't know, their, their situation we don't know, have, have passed on. So the Chinese government has to starve Shanghai, a city that has been very vocal against the current political leadership there. And as the Chinese government is putting up cages around entire neighborhoods and apartment buildings in China, here in the United States, some people are using that metaphor for what big tech social media is doing to the minds of the people here in the Western world, putting around cages around their mind, controlling what ideas they can and cannot even entertain or listen to. This, as Google has just announced that their search engine will now include, quote, inclusive language, which will cut down on politically incorrect words. Yes, if users type in the word landlord, they will soon be warned that they are using non-exclusive language. If they use the term policeman you again will be warned that you need to replace this with the word police officer as of course the big tech social media giant google alphabet which works very closely with the pentagon and of course the military industrial complex and is becoming one of the biggest powerhouses in the entire world is now going to be policing language in order to make sure you use the words that they want you to use another insane overreach of power that of course they are abusing facebook of course is moving with their metaverse plans trying to get everyone inside of their pods living a virtual reality that of course is tightly controlled like their algorithm which they have previously used for psychological operations and when it comes to big tech social media there of course is one other social media platform that, of course, soon might be getting changed very significantly. But before getting into that, it's important to note here that, that we are also under an administration that wants to control thoughts and ideas along with political expression, has openly called for the suppression of free speech on the Internet. And we have to understand what big tech social media is doing is in cohesion with big government that, of course, wants to use the powers of big tech social media for their own personal gains and potentially that might be all unended 
as of course we're getting reports that Elon Musk is going to be the new owner of Twitter, a major social media platform that of course is considered an information highway and essentially our modern day town hall that has a huge impact on our social, political, and economic life. Elon Musk just moments ago tweeted a very cryptic message saying, quote, and be my love in the rain. And of course, we've been following this story for a while as we've been telling you that there's a big chance that this was going to happen. It, it's unfolding right now. There, there was some initial resistance against Elon Musk buying Twitter, but the strategy that he implemented here made it very difficult for, of course, the shareholders to resist this deal as it looks like the board of directors was pressured into doing this and now according to reuters bloomberg and the independent twitter will be accepting his offer to buy Twitter for $43 billion, leaving one Twitter user saying, quote, if you ever think you're worthless, remember that Elon Musk is offering $43 billion for Twitter, 212 million daily active users, so you're actually worth about $202. And with this news dropping, a lot of unhinged, crazy, insane people, probably with disrupted nervous systems and leaky guts, are absolutely having a hissy fit on Twitter, as of course, Leave Twitter is now trending on the platform, which some people are calling akin to, of course, a lot of liberals claiming that they would move to Canada if Trump won in 2016. I'm personally asking these people, where are they going to go? CNN Plus? Boomer Metaverse Facebook? No, the, the conversations are on Twitter. This move is major, and that's why we're seeing major attack pieces by other billionaires who control media platforms like Media Matters, who are now screeching in their low IQ articles talking about the dangers of free speech. Jeff Bezos, who owns the Washington Post, another unaccountable billionaire, set his minions to attack Elon Musk predominantly at the larger threat of, of him allowing people to, to speak freely. And essentially, the line has been drawn. There's a lot of billionaires, a lot of establishment institutional power saying no. U.S. human beings can't congregate together, can't talk freely with each other. Our unaccountable billionaires have to control every aspect of that curating, manipulating the algorithm so you see what we want you to see. While, of course, there's Elon Musk on the other hand saying, hey, no, people should be able to, to freely express and talk to each other as they please like they do in the real world. Now that's the promise Elon Musk is making. Will he keep it is yet another question that of course I think is important to ask here. As of course, there's questions about his contacts, the people who he was connected with, what he's been up to, and some people who are free speech advocates who are still skeptical here. As of course, there's even talks about Twitter needing to verify everyone and their identities on the platform. There's some other people joking about how you're going to need a Neuralink brain chip in order to have free speech privileges in the future. There's been accusations against Elon for not wielding his power in an accountable way. And this man being on the forefront of, of AI, of, of brain chips, of, of satellite internet. And now the major town hall of the Western world, you do kind of have to ask yourself, that is a lot of authority. That is a lot of power. And will that power be used wisely? Well, that's that's an important question that I think a lot of people should be asking themselves. But I, I think we're getting off to a good start, especially with Elon Musk just tweeting moments ago that, quote, I hope that even my worst critics remain on Twitter because that is what free speech means. And with statements like that dominating the headlines, with, with, with epithets and ideas out there like this, I think this is absolutely a net positive and an opportunity for something incredible. I, I'm, I'm skeptically optimistic here to be completely transparent and honest for, from where I'm coming from. And uh, I think this is going to potentially represent a huge change in shift of the global power structure, especially if people are allowed 
to openly express and talk about ideas without the fear of censorship. This is something that throughout recorded human history has blossomed and allowed people to prosper. These are the ideas, even if not implemented by Elon Musk, even if Elon Musk is all the talk here, these are the ideas and philosophies and liberties and principles that are now being discussed. And even if we just have this, this to me, is still a major victory as of course this represents the larger populist ideas that the people desperately want. The polls, the perceptions of what people want and what governments want and what special interests wants are, are manipulated. But throughout my entire career, one of the biggest things, one of the most important things is allowing people to be free. And it starts with your mind being free without any constraints, being completely open, having the ability to discern and critically think ideas that are absolutely unfiltered. That to me is a huge strength that will only better us all. Will Elon Musk implement it? Well, I want to leave that question to you. Will he? If you think so, write one and say yes. And if you don't think he will, if you think he's all talk and he's not going to do any of the things he's he's talking about and he's going to use this power for his own nefarious purposes, press two and say no. I would love to see the comment section below as I always do because it allows for dialogue and it'll be interesting to see where you guys stand as audience members of this independent media broadcast. Again, I told you my position and I could be wrong. That's that's again something that we all need to ascertain here as well. We're not always right. We don't always get things correct. And if there's one thing that matters at the end of the day, it's the truth. That's my perspective. That's my opinion. If you thought it was something worthwhile, share it with your friends and family members by sharing this video with them. Just double click the URL, just pass it on even to a random person. Because you do that, I'm still able to be here. I'm going to be doing yet another video on LukeUncensored.com. And if you want to watch more on this particular topic, I made a more in-depth video just about this, which you could watch right here. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. And this is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for a lot more here on wearechange.org.